Florida is facing a water crisis. You know, Florida's waters are what make our state unique. It is our competitive advantage. And when you cannot access our waterways due to toxic green slime, it's not only an environmental crisis, it's also an economic emergency. In 2014, 75% of the voters approved dedicated funding for land conservation to protect our waterways. Sadly, the Senate and the House, the legislature misappropriated the majority of those funds using them for existing expenses. So while the Floridians came together with an unprecedented vote of 75% for these dedicated funds, basically the it fell on deaf ears with the legislature. They've used these funds for, for workers' comp insurance. They've used these funds that should be dedicated for acquisition of public lands for maintenance of lands and roads that aren't even in part of the conservation program. They're using it for seat cushions for office workers. I mean, there's more, you know, more than $250 million of this dedicated funding has been misappropriated, and we believe it's a constitutional violation. We, as people who care, you know, we must get informed. And not only are we informed about these issues, we're informed about solutions, and we communicate that to every elected official at every level. We have to have numbers of people writing letters, of emailing, attending me meetings, and making sure our voices are heard, and we're strategically coordinated, and we're aggressive in delivering that message.